Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to my page, my name is Katie and I am the creator of Rouse Rising, also known as Holistic Homemaker from my earlier days, but I've changed the name since then. Today, I'm gonna be cooking elk roast and I'm really excited about it. This is the first time that I've had a roast in a really long time. So I'm gonna give it a whirl and see what I can do with it. I hope you stick with me the whole way through and see how it turns out. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have the elk roast and I'm just going to olive oil, salt and pepper it and throw it on the Traeger grill real quick. It is a lean cut of meat, so it will need to be cooked for a few hours on low heat to help it break down and become tender. really hot Traeger grill right here fired up and ready to go and I'm just going to throw this elk roast on it and get it nice and seared. I'm going to sear it up really good on all sides and then throw it in the Dutch oven inside. It is a cold one today. Very, very cold. Okay, it's 19 degrees out here, so your cook times on your grills to sear your elk roast are gonna vary. My elk roast was also really cold because um, I just pulled it out of the refrigerator. So um, your searing times are gonna be a little bit different than mine, but I'll show you what I have so far. It's been on here for 15 minutes. Got a nice little sear on this side. I'm gonna sear it on the other side and then uh, take it in and throw it in the crock pot. This is just gonna give it a little bit of extra flavor. Two cloves of garlic. Okay, back out to this meat, this beautiful elk roast. Let's see, let me give you a gander of it. I know I'm sure I'm gonna get comments about how well we treat our Traeger grill, but uh, I'm not too concerned about how dirty it is right now. All right, that's looking good to me. Back on the plate, we're gonna take it inside and throw it in the pot.
Okay, into this pan, I'm gonna dump some Cabernet Sauvignon. Kind of deglaze the pan a little bit. Okay, I also have this elk bone broth that I made the other day specifically for this roast. If you don't have elk bones to make uh, elk broth, then you can certainly use beef broth. And then we're gonna put in the standards, some celery, some red potatoes in around there. probably put more see how full I can get this thing some red, some carrots stuff those in around the sides then we're gonna bring this up to a boil and then lower it to a simmer just to cook away see what else we can get crammed in here now I know I'm gonna be feeding a family of six so I know that I'm gonna need all the potatoes and carrots we're also gonna have um, asparagus on the side all right I'm gonna dump in some more wine I'm gonna push down some some uh, thyme and rosemary sprigs. And then we're also gonna add some mushrooms on top. I've seen people use bacon making this and I just didn't have bacon and I forgot to tell my husband to get bacon but I also hear a lot of purists say that using bacon on game meat ruins it and takes away that gamey flavor that you should grow accustomed to and love but um yeah so I didn't use any bacon the roast is in there and we are going to bring this up and let it bubble and boil and then reduce it to a simmer for about two hours or so. Check it in a few minutes. So I have brought it up to a boil. I used about half a bottle of wine. I might throw just a smidge more in there for good measure. Yeah, it was a full bottle. A little bit less than half. Um, was all I had room for because I used a quart of elk bone broth. I had it up to a boil. Getting it going really good. Doesn't it look pretty? Alright, got it up to a nice boil. I'm gonna let it cook and reduce just a little bit before I put the lid on again and turn it back down. Add a little bit of salt to this and film and grind the pepper grinder at the same time, but I went ahead and threw some black pepper on there, a little bit of salt. I think we're good to go to cover it and bring it back down to a simmer. I'm gonna let it cook for about two hours or so. We'll see if in two hours, if it is nice and tender. Uh, just have a little bit of parsley, some horseradish sauce, and we're gonna mix it together to make something for the uh, for the roast elk. A little sauce for the roast elk. What's it now? 
made out of horseradish sauce and parsley. What? Horseradish. I'll let you taste it. It's a moment of truth. Mmm. Mm. It's really tender. It's pulling apart super easy. I think it's a winner. It's very tasty. I'm going to try it with my cranberry sauce too. My fermented cranberry sauce. Mm. I love the horseradish sauce though. It is so good. Tender and delicious. It is so good. I cooked it on the stove for about two and a half hours and it seemed to be just right on a low simmer for two and a half hours. It's delicious. I can hear the family in there enjoying it. I'm going to go join them. Thanks for watching today. Give this video a thumbs up, which is a like. Subscribe to the channel, Rouse Rising, and let me know what you think about this recipe down in the comments below. Thanks so much.